What's up, guys? Welcome back to Road to the Two Comic Club. Justin here, and this is another two-day recap um, for day 604 and 605, September 18th and 19th. So I'm just gonna—it's gonna be short. I'm not gonna talk really about any articles because I kind of want to focus on what happened at this point in time. This was the two days where uh, Tilray went absolutely nuts, and their stock just skyrocketed, and I got super lucky. Forgot to sell um, my two calls on the 18th and then it went up even more on the 19th so I made even more profit but I'll get back to that so I'm gonna post the trades right here you can see on the 19th no trades on the 18th on the 19th sold those Tilray calls and again I made a video talking more about it which I will put a card up there in case anyone missed it and then I bought 100 Apple shares with that profit and also bought three Kronos calls and yeah so let's just go to see how the stocks actually did so this was on uh september 18th i believe this was tuesday you can also go th scroll through them really quick you can see uh dow and nasdaq both did really well so that was awesome going to our winners obviously tilray was our top performer it went up 101 percent that day which brought our total profit to 6100 at this point in time and 197 percent return so yeah, it was hands down the best gainer, but Amazon also did pretty well. So shout out to Amazon. You know, they were, you know, holding their own too. Uh, the losers, Apple did very poorly for us that day. And uh, yeah, Tesla also did not very well. Now let's go to the next day. So the, on the 19th, um, Dow was doing okay, pretty well. NASDAQ, not so well. And then Dow finished up really well and NASDAQ, not so much. But it was pretty relatively flat. And so I think this was the day I updated my software for my iOS. <laughs> so you can see the stock widget changed. I do like the new layout, but it doesn't always update like in real time like it used to. Or it used to update much better before. So I don't really use it anymore. Plus, um, I take screenshots on my TD Ameritrade app, which also has some some issues updating. But uh, it can, I can get more on the screen. So I'm, I've been using that more. But anyways, enough of that. Let's go to um, the positions here, how we did. So we had, again, till rate, and I left this up. Even though I sold it, I left it up on the positions just to show what the total gain was for that day. So I made, it was 125% increase that day from when I sold it. It actually went up more, but then it came back down. So this is just when I sold it. I sold it at 125% gain for the day. $11,000 gain for just that day, which was absolutely nuts. I was going crazy. And yeah, I was texting my friend like, oh my God, dude, this is insane. And then Tesla had a $1,000 gain for us. So our 350 strike call. So that was awesome. And there's our losers down there. Adobe was our worst performer by a pretty large margin. I mean, Square lost $300. So not nearly as bad as Adobe. So they must have had a pretty bad day or something like that. But anyways, so most of the headlines that I uh, took screenshots of are related to Tilray, which most of you already know what happened, so I'm not going to waste much time. But it was interesting that I forgot that they had became like the biggest pot company. They took that title away from Canopy Growth at the time, and they since came back. But um, it was, you know, there was really big hype about them being the first Canadian company to import pot to the United States. That was one of their big reasons they were like surging. Plus... They didn't have. They don't have a lot of shares outstanding, so that's why their price was so easily, like shooting up because there weren't that many shares. So when a stock, when a company doesn't have that many shares, it's easy just based on the supply and demand. Uh, it's easier to manipulate the stock. You know, big investors can really pump it up by buying a, a large portion of them, and so I think that's one of the reasons it was going up so much and it got halted like five times a day. But anyways. I just want to go back to the biggest lesson that I learned from this experience, which is incredibly valuable. So I'm hoping you guys uh, are watching this and are still tuning in, but I'm going to post a picture of this graph. And I mentioned this in the last video, but I don't think a lot of people saw it uh, for whatever reason. So I just want to mention one more time. If you look at that stock, the, the slope of that curve just got way too steep. And when it gets that steep, there's no way for it to physically keep going up. It might go up for maybe a day or two. I mean, it's possible, but it can't go up forever. And when you get to that steepness, I clearly now see that it's like prime, you know, sell it, buy some puts, and you can make even more money. At the, and at the time, I was like texting my friend. I was like, dude, I should I should uh, buy some puts now. Like, haha, I was laughing about it. And he was like, yeah, we should. But like, I had already bought the Apple stock, and this was one of the biggest mistakes I made. 
I was trying to be so safe with my money by protecting my profits and putting it into Apple stock that I missed out on a great, great opportunity. Opportunities like this don't happen very often. Um, maybe they do depending on how well you read charts. But I mean, for a guy like me, you know, who was just kind of learning how to read charts, like, you know, this kind of opportunity doesn't come all the time. And I put all my profits into Apple stock. I should have, you know, maybe taken some of my profits, like maybe five grand of that and just put it on puts just to see because it was profit anyways. And my gut was telling me it was coming down. And sure enough, uh, the graph that I'm actually showing here is actually the close two days later on the 21st. So you can see it dropped down tremendously from the $300 price that it hit. And again, I kind I knew it was going to come down, but I was being so protective of my money, I didn't buy puts. And that was a huge mistake because I could have made probably eight to 10 grand in like a couple days. Um, I just left it on the table. So I hope you guys learn from this. Uh, again, I'm not a financial advisor, so this is not me telling you to buy stock. This is just you, me sharing my experience. Um, when you when I see a graph like this in the future, I'm gonna know exactly what to do. And hopefully you guys will learn from this. If you're beginning investing, see this, this uh, what's it called? The events that transpired with me, pretend it happened to you and try to learn from it before it actually does happen to you <laughs> because that's kind of what this channel is about. Uh, it's a documentary. So hope you guys are learning from my experience and I'm just gonna leave it at that. So if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do want to just mention real quick about today's volatility. It's just nuts. 2019 is already proving to be really volatile, which as I was expecting. So it's kind of a crazy market. But with Tesla, I want to mention that um, I think their deliveries were really nice. I want to link in the description for uh, Galileo's hyperchange video he just posted about Tesla's deliveries. If you're interested in seeing some really good numbers, he puts together really amazing graphs. I'm going to link in the description for that video. Definitely give it a watch if you haven't seen it already. And I'm really bullish on Tesla. They're expanding into Europe. I'm really, really bullish on Tesla. And yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there as like a January 4th current news and stuff, current update. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good night. We'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out this video. If you want another way to support the channel, please check out that Patreon link up there at the top. You get access to my private Discord server where we chat about different companies we're looking at investing in. I also post my current trades in real time as well as news headlines with little mini summaries. And you can also get discounts on any merchandise that we sell, like a shirt like this, for example. And if you want to just subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate that as well. You can just click that black logo there at the bottom. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.